I'm here today with a tutorial for this eye look, this eye look here today. It's a little bit different. It's a very cool toned, silvery, gray, smoky eye. I usually don't do very many gray, silver colors, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, something that I don't usually do. So this is a tutorial using all Makeup Geek and NYX shadows. And so it's a very affordable, easy to do, gray smoky eye. I put some false lashes on today and then paired it with a very like glowy, like highlighted cheek and a very pale pink lip. So if you wanna see how I did this tutorial, then just stay tuned. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. This is a Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite Makeup Geek shadows and that is this color right here called Unexpected. And it is a really pretty dusty purple. So we're just going to take that on the brush and we're gonna run this in to the crease. And you're just going to do like a combination of like little circles and windshield wiper motion just to get this into the crease. Next, we're gonna go in with a cream shadow. This is Pug from Buxom, and I'm taking a small brush just because that hole is so tiny, it's really hard to get product out. So I'm going to use a brush, and we're just going to pat this onto the lid. And this is a really pretty, kind of taupey, purpley, silver, sparkly cream shadow. If you can fit your finger in there, I feel like it applies so much better with your finger, but they make the opening so, so tiny that it's like almost impossible to get the product out. And I think I have like pretty tiny hands, so it's just, yeah, it's really hard. And then I'm just gonna use the brush and just kind of blend it out a little bit, smooth it out and just get it right up to that crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with a Makeup Geek Stiff Dome Brush with a little bit more of that unexpected color and just kind of blend around the edges. And then I'm gonna go in with a combination of Fairy Tale from Makeup Geek and Purple Rain. I'm gonna just kind of mix the two and run that in the crease with that same brush just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with a NYX eyeshadow in tin. It's a really pretty, vibrant silver, and these prismatic shadows are amazing. They're very, very metallic and creamy, and they're just really, really beautiful. So I'm just going to tap that on the inner corner of my eye. You can use these wet or dry as well. I'm just gonna use my dry. And I'm tapping it into the inner corner and bringing it about halfway in. And this is a MAC 239 brush. Then I'm, gonna, then I'm going to flip that brush over and use the other side and go in with Makeup Geek Galaxy, which is a really pretty deep gunmetal gray color. And I'm going to take this and apply it to the outer half of the lid and then concentrating most of that color on the outer portion and then tapping the excess into the center of the lid. So you want the deepest color out here and then bring it in. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of the NYX shade. And just so you can kind of go back and forth and blend it out so it's a nice gradient from a light silver to the deep, the deep gray color. I'm gonna go in with a Makeup Geek Small Crease Brush and I'm gonna go in with Corrupt, which is just a matte black from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to put this right on this outer corner right here. And I'm just kind of tapping it right in this outer corner. 
Then I'm going to go back in with that stiff dome brush and a little bit more of Unexpected, which is the light purple we originally put in the crease. And I'm just going to kind of softly blend around the edges. For my brow bone, I'm going to take a angled brush from Sigma. I'm going to go in with a combination of Vanilla Bean, which is a kind of a skin tone, pale cream color, and a little bit of White Lies, which is a matte white. I don't want something as stark as white, but I need something a little bit brighter than like an ivory shade. So I'm just going to mix the two, and we're going to apply this to the brow bone. I love using an angled brush like this because I can kind of, if you turn it this way, you can kind of blend it so it gives a gradient effect so it's not just a harsh highlight. And the fluffiness just allows you to blend it really easily. So I like using this brush for, um, for any brow bone highlights and then just kind of blending it into that transition shade. And I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush that we used and a little bit more of unexpected and just kind of blend this out a little bit. Okay, that's it for the lid. Next, I'm gonna take this Ardency in black liner. It's one of my favorites. As you can see, there's like hardly anything left. It's a great, great black liner. And I'm going to do my waterline and tight line. I'm gonna go back in with that small crease brush and whatever is left on it, from this outer corner, I'm just gonna drag that underneath the eye and just kinda of use the rest of that product and smudge it out. Cause it had quite a bit of that black and I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna go back in with Galaxy, which was that darker sparkly gray that we used. Start on the outer corner and just kind of smudge that. Then I'm gonna go in with the silver that we use, kind of all the same colors we used, we're just going in order backwards now. And starting in the inner corner and smudging it back. So it's, then I'm gonna go in with the stiff dome brush that we used before and get a little bit of that unexpected color and blend that bottom part out. Dirty, I think, pencil brush from Sigma. I'm gonna go in with just a matte white. This is White Lies. It's the same color we did on, we mixed for the brow bone. I'm just going to pop this into the inner corner. And that's just gonna kind of brighten it up a little bit. Then for my liner on my top lash line, I'm gonna use Makeup Geek. Immortal gel liner, which is one of my favorite gel liners. And this is a Sigma angled brow brush. And we're going to just do, we're not doing a wing, we're just doing a standard top lash line. Not doing too thick of a line either. For my lashes, I'm gonna use some Mosquito Lashes, and they are these ones right here. I can't remember the name, so I will link them down below. I also have a 15% off coupon. Um, these lashes are seriously so amazing, and I have worn this particular pair probably like seven times, and they're like in perfect condition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to curl my lashes first and then do like a light coat of mascara. This is just a MAC eyelash. Curler. I use the Clump Crusher from CoverGirl. It's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. And we're just gonna do like a thin layer. And these lashes are seriously so easy to apply. I love these. I love these Mosquito lashes. They're like hands down my favorite lashes of all time. And if you guys have watched me for any length of time, you guys know that I like never wear lashes. So the fact that I have been wearing these so much is really saying something.
So I just let the glue kind of dry a little bit and then you can come in with whatever shadow you're using and it will just kind of like flake it off. See? Problem solved. So the foundation that I used is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hours in the L'Oreal Infallible just because this is a little bit lighter than this one and I'm not self tanned and I needed something that was going to match my skin. So those are the two drugstore foundations that I put on. Now for bronzer, I'm going to use Golden Rinse. It's my favorite. It's still available, or at least it was as of like a couple days ago. Uh, you might, if you can't pick this up, maybe try the Makeup Forever Sculpting Duo or the new Makeup Forever Iridescent Bronzers. Um, they have like a matte version and then a version that has an eye next to it. I think it's going to be pretty close to the same concept or formula. Um, I'm just using this to kind of bronze at my skin. I like it because it has a nice sheen to it. This is a warmer bronzer where the other color, which I think is called Delicates, is a cooler toned bronzer. So I'm kind of contouring, but kind of like bronzing at the same time. I've been using like a big fluffy brush usually for this. Um, I've been using this powder brush. It's the powder brush number one from Chanel. I got it off Glambot. I've been using that, but I think I'm going to go for something a little bit more defined today because when you use a bigger, fluffier brush, you have a little less control of where the product goes. And um, I'm just trying to like concentrate this a little bit more where I want it. Um, this one is Obsessed, Rapture, and Fetish. I think I'm going to do a combination of fetish and obsessed because I don't want it that mauvey but I don't want it that bright pink so we're gonna try this out this is just a Sigma angled brush I'm gonna go with like a combination of both of those and see how they work yeah that's kind of the color I wanted I didn't want something too dark and mauve but I didn't want something super bright either to use the Kevin Aquan candlelight highlighter I just think this is such a beautiful Highlight. It's such a like glowy, beautiful glow to the cheeks. Okay, for my lips, I want to do a pinky pink. So I'm going to use Edge to Edge from MAC to line it. This is a really, really pretty lip liner. Then I'm going to go in with a combination of these two MAC Mineralized Lipsticks. They're like some of my favorite lipsticks from MAC. This is Divine Choice and this is Dreaminess. I'm going to start off with Divine Choice. It's like a pretty mid-tone pink. And then I'm going to go in with Dreaminess, which is a light pink. Alright, so this is the finished look. I obviously like went and fixed my hair really quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have requests for any other tutorials, leave them in the description box below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!